Hey! And we're here again. Hello. Hello, pal. How are we all right? Yeah, I feel great. What's wrong with you? You're in Guadeloupe. It's beautiful, Sunshine. You've got a swimming pool. Listen to the stadium. What's happened? It's 6 a.m. Well, it was your idea to record this <laughs> at this time. What do you want me to do? I had to set so, me alarm. So, I had to be up at half past 10 for this. I had to set ten, me alarm. Mate, I dream of being up at half 10 these days. <laughs> Dream of it. Half ten seems like a myth. <laughs> Half ten, I've done several hours of work by then, and I'm starving. No, nah, I mate. Am, no, the, the plan was to, um, I asked you if you would do it this time, six o'clock for me, because we wanted to do like a podcast for like maybe an hour, hour and a half. And then I was hoping to be, um, the plan was about half eight or something, I was going to be off on an excursion for the day, on my day off, and I was going to go like on a, on a jet ski trip around the island. And then, um, and then there was a rumour that there was a storm coming, so we had to change the whole plan. And now... The weather's the most beautiful day I've ever seen. So I'm up at 6 a.m. for no reason. <laughs> no jet skis. So they've cancelled it? Yeah. Bollocks so, for that. Yeah. So you've got so up for no I'm... reason? Well, yeah, to talk to your dumb ass. What are you, um, what are you drinking? What are you drinking? Um, just a, a beer, but I've got a, le- a lemonade top in it because it is the first of the day and I've only had a little sandwich. For um, <laughs> I, I need to eat before I start drinking. And I did get up early, early-ish um, to do this. <laughs> Um, and I've been rushing around and I've not had much to eat. I have a coffee what, and then I've, I've had a little sandwich. What sandwich was it? Well, it was ham and brown sauce, butter. <laughs> <laughs> it's quick and easy, Ralph. Well, you're hungry and you've got to get something in here. Ham and brown sauce, butter. It's all you need. Boom. Right. Add a bit of cheese if you want to be posh. So uh, we've got a guest on today, which is, um, I'm really chuffed about this guest today because it's, um, he's a friend of mine. Um, have you met him before? Never met him. You never met him? It's a good friend of mine. Um, it's Keith Lemon. I've met, I've, met, I've met a friend of his, Lee Francis, but I've never met Keith Lemon. Keith Lemon is, um, yeah, a good friend of mine. Been on Celebrity Juice with him, did the movie fest with him, did the picture show with him. And um, I said, do you fancy coming on for a chat? He said, yes, so I'm proper chuffed. Um, I've, I've actually messaged out to people on my Instagram and my Twitter. just said, if you've got any questions yeah. for Keith Lemon, let us know. Any questions for us, if they want, but any questions for Keith Lemon? Because some people obviously never get a chance to meet him or speak to him, so yeah. they can, we can be their go-between, and we can... Nice. Yeah, I got a few come back in as well. Um, off, uh, any questions, I'm sure they're all quite similar, but um, yeah. yeah, I think it should be quite good fun, actually, because... Well, actually, like I said, I've never met him, so I've, I've don't, I don't know what it's going to be like, but you've, as you, uh, you vouched for him and said, um, he's basically just non-stop and hilarious, so... No, he's good fun, and it's I'm right in that fun. mood. He is. He's good fun. <laughs> you need cheering up, you lazy no bastard. Mm. No, he's um, he's good fun, and he's a top bloke, really. And uh, you know what I mean. I've I've done celebrity juice for years with him, and it's one of the best shows I do because you go on there. First thing you do is put a beer in your hand. You have a right good laugh, um, and then you go home. I mean, it's just it's just like a night out, but on telly. Um, as you got to be willing to. Well, you, I was, was I boring you? I just fucked off. You can't just le- you can't just leave. It's called two pints of Will and Ralph, not two pints of Will and a big f- mic. What are you doing? Two, two pints. One pint with Will and a big mic and a glass of water and no other dude who's just left. Well, what I was saying was, yeah, on juice, when you go, to, do the, when you go to the show, yeah, you, you, you put a beer in your hand, you have a beer, meet the guests. And as long as you don't take yourself seriously, like I don't, you have a good laugh. And it's, uh, it's I, I love the show because it's just leave your brain at the door. Load of fun. I did the movie fest with him, with me and Paddy McGuinness, and I did the picture show with him, where we did Ghostbusters, they did Keith and Paddy picture show, and um, they did all these different films, uh, and if you haven't seen it, they basically remake films in their own Keith and Paddy way. Uh, it's hilarious, and you have different people playing different roles. Uh, very spoofy, but very funny. And I was um, I was Egon in Ghostbusters. In Ghostbusters. It. Yeah, but it wasn't me at first, it was Robbie Williams was doing it, and then they did this bit where I don't know if he got bored filming, but he injured himself on camera, like part of the character. And then they had to replace him and find someone else to play Egon. And that then definitely I, sounds that definitely sounds like Robbie does did a day's filming and went, "Oh, this is hard work. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm gone. too rich for this. <laughs> I'm worth hundreds of millions. What the yeah, fuck am I doing? Rich, too successful to be getting a seven a.m. Yeah. call time. Thanks. So you. what do they do? So they just wheel wheel me in on a wheelbarrow. Yeah, they'll do it. <laughs> That's funny, yeah. <laughs> you know me. You yeah, you will do anything, yeah. Not anything, but you know. Well, on the on that show, believe me, me, Keith and Paddy, my God, you can just imagine doing these scenes. I've got to be Egon, so I've got to be American, so you can imagine the accent. 
Oh no, did you do an American accent? <laughs> yeah. Oh mate, how did it go? I thought it did all right. I thought it did all oh, right. Oh my God, I'm going to have to look it up now. But pa- Paddy did an accent. Paddy's accent, my God. He, and he knows it. And he, he, he just says it on purpose. But it's the funniest thing. Okay, so what am I looking up? Will Miller, American accent. No. no I'll, do you, I'll do you Egon. I can do your line for it if you want. Okay, okay. okay. I'll, um, let oh, me think God. About Wait, put, put your fingers on. Uh, let me, let me, I haven't got my bins in the other room. Okay, um, go on then. Let's, let's see a bit of Egon. Um, uh, uh, I can't remember my <laughs> line. Oh my I forgot God. my line. This is rubbish already. Hang on, I've got to get into character. Oh Egon. my God. Uh, this is the first. <laughs> Wait, show me how you got into character again. Egon. <laughs> Egon. Do not That's how you got into character. By, I can't by remember going, how, I can't remember my line. Egon. <laughs> <laughs> That's your process for getting into character. Hold on, everyone. Wait. Again. Do not cross the streams. <laughs> <laughs> I, some of um, I can't remember my line. It's gone. It's gone. Come on. Come on. Hey, the pressure's on here. Do, do, I can't do, remember my line. line. I can't remember it. Oh, Keith Lemon's here. He's here. Can you hear us? Oh, I'm gone. Hello. Hello. That's not going to work. It sounds like you're a Dalek. I can't can you hear me? Hey, I can hey, hear you now. Hey, Keith hey, Lemon's hey, turned up. Yay! Hello. Hello. There he is. Welcome. Ah, hey. Cheers. Nice. Hey, cheers. All the best. Nice one. Cheers. All the best. No, but best. best. Listen, anyway, welcome, lad. Nice to see you, pal. Thanks for coming on. No worries. I just, what have you been up to, mate, in lockdown? What's been happening? Just sweating. Well, not today, because it's been raining, but... um. Yeah, it's been warm, hasn't it? So it's been nice. We've been saved by the sun. So I decided to set up a YouTube channel and stay indoors and make stuff. So I've been right. a lot of crafting on YouTube, which is very unlike my public persona. But um, yeah, I'm quite creative and I like to make things. What have you, what have you, what's there's your no favorite joke, thing? Well, there's no joke there. That's just what I've been doing. Because I saw you made a chair. That I, that I have could, made a chair, yeah. The Beetlejuice one. Probably, yeah. Yeah, let's see yeah. the Beetlejuice chair. He's a proper crafty bastard, you know. He's very, very, very clever with his craftiness. Look. I made, I made, oh, made wow. This. Look at that beetle. Did you paint chair. it? Yeah, it was just a normal chair, so I turned it into a not normal chair, I guess. I love it. Beetle juice. Yeah. yeah so you, made, you made, did you paint the beetle juice then? That was all you? Yeah, yeah, it was just a brown wooden chair. So I just thought I'd do something to it. cool, actually. So uh, you've got, um, um, I, are you bringing the craft show back? On it. I don't sit on it in case I get beetle juice all over my ass. <laughs> so just look at it. Are you bringing the is that, is that a, is that craft show coming back again? I don't know. I don't know. And um, Telly seems to have gone to pot, really, doesn't it? Because no one's yeah. allowed to be um, closer than two meters, so that's difficult. Um, advertising revenue has gone down, so I think a lot of people have lost money and can only make stuff like this. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. no, no I, I don't know if you're filming anything, but I've started filming a um, shopping series too. Uh, which is my chat show on the move. And that's quite difficult, staying two metres away. I think in real life, you've got to be one metre away. Yeah. Um, but on telly, it's two metres for some reason. I don't know. I ain't got a clue. And I've got a friend who's doing a sketch show. And um, I don't I don't know how you would film a sketch show in this climate. I was just telling Ralph, um, before you come on, actually, about how um, there's a few things that I've done with you and Paddy, the movie Fest and uh, Keith and Paddy Picture Show. Now I love Keith and Paddy picture show, and I know it's not coming back. Was there a favourite one that we that you did? Uh, they were all living dreams, but um, Dirty Dancing was why we did it initially because we did Dirty Dancing for Let's Dance for Comic Relief, and we said uh, we should do this as a TV show, half hour versions of films, yeah. and um, so we pitched it, and I think we, everybody said no, and then ten years later, when me and Paddy were more known, they said yes. Yeah. And um, yeah, I can remember when we did Return of the Jedi as well, I teared up. I was on the Ewok village dressed as Luke Skywalker and then Michelle Keegan came walking along and I, I just burst into tears cause, with joy and bye, she's fit. I don't <laughs> normally cry at fit women, but you, I think because she was dressed as Princess Leia, I, you know, all my brain were mixed up with like yeah. being a 10-year-old boy and also wanting her to fart on my face. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It, it was, it was um, a weird feeling. 
You know, when when, when you were when you were younger, because you just mentioned it then. You know, like back in the eighties, did you have did you have one as well? Like when you were a kid, there was somebody you had a crush on, like in films. Who was I, your... When I was a kid, I just fell in love with women. Like I was in love with Wonder Woman, Linda Carter. Yeah, I was in love yeah. with Olivia Newton John. <gasps> Me and then too. I was in love and Linda Carlisle and Patsy Kenzie. Always, it was now my mate, which yeah. is weird. But I don't see her as Patsy Kenzie that I was in love with. Otherwise, it'd be weird, wouldn't it? I guess. But she used to be on my wall, Patsy Kenzie. Do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember when you? T- I don't know if you said Olivia Newton John, right? But I had this whole thing where, um, when I was a kid, and I, I didn't understand what it was, but like you'd see Olivia Newton John as Sandy in Greece, and she'd be all like, all sort of preppy and whatever, and then she turns up at the, at the fair at the fair at the end. Just absolutely like hair permed and everything, looking all banging. And I was like, I had no you idea what was all. happening. I, no, I was no idea what happened to my little to my little mind. But I was like, oh, that's naughty. <laughs> I preferred I preferred oh. her before. I preferred her before. when she had a blonde hair and she was innocent. Because I thought, you know, them ones, the quiet ones, are the ones you've got to watch. You out thought, oh, I could. I that could when ruin, you were a kid, you thought innocence. that when you were a kid. Oh, those thought- quiet ones. <laughs> Yeah, that's weird. Kid. I don't know. I just always preferred her. When she got all the levers on her foot, nah, she looks a bit too slutty. Now. It's quite like a weird Andy. message. Thought, Why she got mum there? It's quite a weird message, isn't it, Greece? It's quite a weird message. It's like, I tell you what, if you want to fit in, <laughs> if you want to fit in and get your dreams, you'd better like lose Lots. your own identity and dress like everyone else. Get your cans out. <laughs> and get your Yeah, show a bit of cleavage. Yeah, it's a strange message. Pretty woman, there, similar as well, isn't it? Pretty woman, similar. It's yeah. a, a, a film about prostitutes, um, but it, it's sold as like a family film. And then Dirty Dancing is about abortion. Oh, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But these are yeah. family films. Remember through the key, all right? Yes. He came to my house and stuff. And I wanted to ask, because it's a bit... People don't get to see what you see. What was the best house you went to? Uh, uh, and probably the best person Hold on, you, hold on. On key all. I've drunk two of these. I'm desperate for a piss. You're gonna to have to give me fucking one minute. Sorry. Fuck Jesus Sorry. Christ. Sorry. But, um, so you, when you look around people's houses and you think, well, would I live there? That's normally the best house when you're questioning, would I live there? Um, my favorite house where I would live was probably Jack Osborne's because it was some size, but not too big. Um, and it was just lovely. It was, um, yeah, posh, but not too posh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And an, an area that I thought, yeah, I'd, I'd walk around here. Because again, the area wasn't as posh than you, than you imagine, but wasn't not posh either. Where was so it? I, Can I, you I, say where it, it was? Was it in America in, over in, here? In, in LA somewhere. I can't remember the name of the street or anything. No. But it's all, always, I've always said his house. Because his house was just spot on. It was like, you know, nice, but not, not too lavish. I think. I think what you've done with your with um, your career is just live your dreams. Because I've seen some of the places and things you've done. It's just I've spoken. I've spoken to, bef- to you before about it. It's just like I'm just doing everything that I want to do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I give treatments into telly channels and go. Here's another self indulgent idea. It's just me living my dreams again. Yeah, it's just me doing what I always wanted to do. <laughs> reliving, <laughs> reliving eighties movies, meeting all the g- girls I used to fancy when I was a kid. Yeah. It is. And, and befriending people from the 80s that uh, don't do films anymore, like um, Zach Galligan. Well, he does, he's, so there's still some films. I'm friends with Zach Galligan from Gremlins, who's Billy. And uh, yeah. my mates always go, are you collecting 80s film stars as friends? <laughs> well, I, I, I guess I give them a lot of love and then end up being mates with them. I look who, el- who else you got? I'm friends um, with Mark Arnold, who played Mick, the bad guy in Team Wolf. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> That's excellent. But, but you know, I, I saw him at a screening of Team Wolf in Camden and he knew who I was and I couldn't believe it. And I was, oh, you know who I am? He was, yeah, of course. I know. He'd, been, he'd been living in England for a few years. Right. And I said, I can't tell you what Team Wolf means to me because uh, I own the actual Team Wolf costume. He me bought, bought it me for my birthday. And, Someone um, bought it for you? Yeah. Jesus, that's a nice uh, present, and, um, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, and I wear it now and again, but it's hot. And, um, do you know yeah, what? It, I, I, can you say what do you, what do you think it's worth? If you, if I guess, I don't know, I don't know. It's got to be I worth something. It's, it's worth whatever anyone's willing to pay for it. Oh, yeah. A lot of people aren't bothered about Team Wolf, either, but, um, 
I like so wait, so so wait, so wait, so wait. So when you say the costume, what are we talking about? Are we talking about the high school jacket, or are we talking about the actual? I've, I've got his jacket as well. Of course but you I are. bought the I bought the furry bodysuit. You know when he's playing basketball and you can see yeah. all his pubes all over his body. <laughs> yeah, I've got the, I've got I've got the ultimate pube suit. <laughs> do you ever play basketball in it? Surely you do. I haven't. No, no. Um, I got into basketball when I was a kid because of um, Team Off. So really, I've, me, I've got my mate over at the minute and we were talking about the first time you had a little chuffy with yourself. And um, I said, I was playing basketball in the garden and my mate said, have you ever pulled your willy and it feels amazing, like you're going to pay, but you don't pay. I went, no, we played a bit more basketball. And then I went, I'm just off to the toilet. And when I saw the toilet, I, I had a little go on it and came back and went, that's amazing, I'm going to do it every day until I die. <laughs> <laughs> And you've kept that promise yes. faithfully ever since. <laughs> That's what's up with his hand. When I've got bored of it. <laughs> yeah. been, when I've gone seven times a day and hit the wank wall and just a bubble comes out. <laughs> <laughs> it's so childish, isn't it? Yeah, it's so funny. Childish. So do you know when is Celeb Juice is coming back? Do you know any, you got any times or are you just waiting? Juice comes back in September with two new captains, which I'm not allowed to say at the minute. Oh, good. Do you know How? who they are, though? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, did, you, did you did you did you get a say in who they are? I, I, on juice, I don't book the guests. I, I know you don't. I, I, only go, you don't. I only go no. If, if someone comes and then what about that person? I go nah. But normally, yeah. they, after twelve years, they, they kind of know <clears> if I thought like, oh he'll like them or whatever. Yeah, and um, I just turned up and go who's oh, on? Yeah, and yeah. And I go Will Miller again? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> And can we not get anyone at oh we oh what's that sound? It's a barrel being scraped like a motherfucker. Fuck you, dickhead. Listen, I have a good time on that show. He knows we have good banter on that show. It's really well with the audience, you know. It used to be Paddy was like the top player, and then he came along and <laughs> took it. See? See, dickhead, that's what you get. I bet, I bet Paddy loves that, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. he gutted. He's not competitive he's, much, is he? Paddy, Paddy's gutted while he's doing his top gear and going all around the world. He's devastated, Paddy. Yeah. Rav, you have to come on. You've not been on, have you? No, not yet. I'll come. I'll come. Love, well, when when you're you, in England. When, when, yeah, when I'm in September, England. September. September. We start. End of September. Hey, do you will, know, we, we, will you still be on. going by Christmas? Because I don't come back till then. Early December, maybe. Yeah, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. We could, could go on a, together, could pal. We could go on as yeah, a team. Come on. Yeah. No, I, I should probably go on on my own, to be honest. I You're think. probably better off because audience stayed you. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I don't want you to hold me down, you know? No, mate. So right. follow me. I'll show also, you the ropes. Also, what would be great is if I turn on and then I become the top player and the audience loves me more, you'll be <laughs> fucking furious. But it's, it's highly fucking unlikely, pal. Don't worry about that. Is it? Though? <laughs> is it? I don't know. <laughs> I know what you like without a script. You're dull as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> before uh, uh, before we got you on today, Keith, I I, um, I put it out there on the, the World Wide Web on social media that we were getting you on, and we said, um, "Is it all right, people, to ask questions that they might want? You don't have to answer them, but I just think it's nice for people who never get to meet you for us to be the go-between uh, to, and they're going to ask the public. The public have put forward some questions. All right, you're all right. So I might ask yeah. you a couple. Is that all right? Yeah. Have you got some as well, Ralph? Yeah. In fact, I'm going to go first. Okay, go on then. So, this is a, it might be a boring one, and it's probably boring because I bet you get asked all the time, but what's uh, under the bandage? Is, is it covering something up? Skin. Just skin. Just what? skin. It's not covering Just anything skin. up. So, what's the, no. why, do you, why do you still need to wear it? I, I used to wear it um, because I did something, <laughs> and, and then I just kept it on because it helped uh, break the ice because people go, what have you done What's to, to you around? And, and then I make up a story, a different story all the time. But it's just stuck, I guess. If I take it off, it's like if he got rid of Superman's cape. Wait, where's your cape gone? Not that I'm as good as Superman, but you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. So, it's just, so, I just so, wear it. So what did you do? What did you do to it then? I was spraying it. Back I know, in what, I was ho- no, what I was hoping, what was hoping was that you'd make... People I, was I, would, I was hoping you'd make up a mad story, just like... Yeah, well, I used to say that um, I had a tattoo <laughs> of burned cotton and underneath it said cunt. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, me, me and Fern patched things up and we're, we're all good mates now. and um, We don't say that sort of thing to each other. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but and I, I used to say that I'd be um, taking mis- and misfortunate children um, 
on trips away and one of them bit me. And um, <laughs> I'll, I'll, sort, I'll sort of stuff, but they're just square, nice. I, don't, I don't know. I'll stick with the I'll stick with a tattoo. It's Fern Cotton yeah. and it says cunt. She used yeah. to be a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But she changed and the tattoo stayed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, now now it, it doesn't say cunt underneath, it says cud. Oh nice. It nice. says could if I wanted to. This is a bit of a No I cunt. No I cunt. <laughs> all right, all right. I, th- I, think, I think we've done our allocation of cunts for one episode. Yeah. Um, you can believe those cunts, though, yeah? We already start with two every week. Go on. <laughs> Have you got any one, Ralph? Have you got any more? <laughs> yes. Um, from Sophia would like to know, if uh, would you have liked to have been in two pints and what character would you have played? Just say no, um, shit. That would be a very funny answer. No, it was rubbish. Never liked it. I've never seen it. There you go. Have you not watched two pints? Yeah, of course I have. Well, I didn't know. Um, who would it be? I'd, um, I'd be Will's character so I could go on Celebrity Juice him and so I could eat um, Ant's balls in the future. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> be, everyone yeah. wants to be Gaz. Go on, then, Will. You're next. Right, let me just have a look here. <clears throat> um, oh, yeah, it's, it's boring, that one. Let me just try to find some decent ones. I mean, did you not want to pick any of these before we started, or...? It says who, who's his favourite yeah, guest on Celebrity Juice, but you know, it's quite an guess. easy one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll tell I, you what, I, I, the, the answer is anyone who's a mate in real life. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know what it's like life. when it's got your mates on. <clears throat> it, you forget you're on telly and you're just having a good time. Yeah, it's good. Um, man. I was I was saying this before to Ralph. It's my favourite show to do because we just have a laugh from start to finish, and we really and a do. little drink. Oh, that's it. Starts with a drink. Yeah, yeah. Johnny Vegas takes it to another level. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Always <laughs> he's, a Je- he's, a Je- he's a Jedi at the drink. <laughs> Do you he know is. what? There was one time we was on there, and I, and I was thinking, there's only one person you could do this to, and it was Johnny Vegas. And he had to eat a, a full cube of butter. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. And down a pint of Guinness. And then he had to drink some bin juice. Do you remember that? Yeah. I was. Remember when we had to tape him up, though? We yeah, tape he, his mouth up. Yeah, because he won't shut up. He won't let you do your, your links, would he? <laughs> he had wow. to have a, a oh, oh, But I wouldn't. But you know, you, you've got a limited time in that studio, so you have to get out. So we have to tape him up because he wouldn't stop. Otherwise, I would let him go because I love listening to Johnny Vegas say anything. He can just go, can't he? He yeah. does. He yeah. does. Yeah. He does he's the only on. comedian, he's the only stand up who can do it as well. It just goes on without a plan and just, you can just, just, just listen to him forever. Johnny, peas, let's discuss. Yeah. Please, you've got them, he'll go off, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true. I, do you know, yeah. there's a few things that have happened, actually, when we've done Juice, because there's a lot that happens and that people don't see. And I always say, if you can come down see Juice, try and get down to it, because we record for three hours. It's a, it's, it's a good, long session, and it's only on for an hour. So <clears throat> I said to people, if you get down to see it, you get to, get to see a lot more, because when Keith well, starts, to get he, tickets he doesn't in the stop. Just, in the future, it's going to be hard to get tickets because they're, they're humming and hiring about having an audience because of COVID. Um, and then I heard we were going to have 100 people. I was, but well, that's that's enough people, isn't it? Mm, and yeah, then it's something. gone down to 50. Oh, like, shit. Uh, yeah. Soon enough, what soon doing enough is it's going to be five. It out, you know? Yeah. But they're setting it out as, um, with tables and chairs, you know, a little bit like a jazz bar. Oh. So that's going to be cool. I think that's going to be cool. Like it looks like a, a members club or something. Oh yeah. But any less than fifty, and it's going to be. I don't know. You're going to wear. Yeah, you're going to wear that, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that, was <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. He's in love, and I can't tell what he's saying. You're going to wear <laughs> yeah. that. Aren't you? <laughs> Remember when we did the I'm, movie fest, uh, Keith? When we did, um, we went and did two movie fests. We did one in Tatton Park, the Dirty Dancing one, which was ace, wasn't it? I mean, it was a yeah, top yeah, was night. ace that one. It was in Tatton Park, Tatton yeah. Park, yeah. They showed, nice. they had a big cinema screen up, and they shown Keith and Paddy uh, picture show version of Dirty Dancing. I know they shown the real film as well, didn't they? Then we show our version, then the real one, but we host it from a makeshift um, video shop that was a bit like Blockbusters. Yeah. And one of our customers happened to be Will Mellor. <laughs> right. Who wanted, who wanted to rent out a contemporary film, and we didn't rent out contemporary films, just films from the 80s. Yeah, yeah. Right. We did a bit of a and, sketch. It was very funny. Yeah. It was so funny. And we did some um, pretend DJing at the end. And we had a big disco at the end, so the, the, yeah. the sort of counter that was like the, the Blockbusters counter turned round, and that was a full DJ set. Yeah. Um, and then Paddy and Keith pretended to put records on, and it was just... 
I can remember saying to Paddy, we, we should do this for a living, man. Just pretend to play records. Yeah, this is yeah. all you got to do, <laughs> yeah. press, press play on your Spotify and yeah. you're away. Like Marvin we didn't Hughes. even do that. We didn't even do that. No. We just had... I, on the first night, we didn't even have any records, just like a mixer that we were pretending to do. <laughs> and then they said, I said, can we get some records? So at least we're putting records on. And yeah, um, yeah just pretending to play records. Yeah, and we, we, we'd had a few beers throughout the day. We drank steadily throughout the day. So by the time the evening part oh, yes. came, we were we had dancers on stage. We would, sp- oh man, we was off. It was top. Yeah. And we did, we did another one as well yeah, for the, 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 the horror one. We did um, yeah, yeah, The Lost it. Boys, didn't we? Yeah, that was at Alexander Palace. Ali Palette. Yeah. It was pro- it was mint that. Um Sarah Butler wants to know if you were Gaz in two pints, Keith, which you said that's who you would play. Yeah. Would you have chosen Donna or Janet? Because he got the, the chance, didn't he? Got the choice. Which one's who? Oh. Donna or Janet. We, uh, Will would had to Gaz had to choose Donna, Natalie Casey or, or Janet um Sheridan Smith. Uh, Sheridan Smith, I guess. Yeah. But I'd, yeah. I'd, but I'd want her to dress up as Silla Black all the time. And keep her teeth <laughs> in. That, the, that was your thing, was it? <laughs> well, she, I thought she did a good job of Sheridan. Of, she did. Um, um, Silla, she did. Silla Black. Yeah. Yeah, she yeah. was a good one, she? Yeah, yeah, she was good. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, they, sh- they should do a follow-up a follow to it. Silla 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's just Sheridan doing... doing in, it's just Sheridan doing Blind day. Date for an hour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I feel like... I feel like every conversation I, I have with you, Keith, is a bit like I can see your like head working going. I reckon I could pitch that as a. I reckon I, <laughs> me and Sheridan Smith doing Keith, Keith Lemon and Sheridan Smith doing blind date. Her I, and from, I just thought of it. I just thought of it. Yeah, it just came from nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, listen. Um, so for, for the last question, it's a question that people have been saying as well, and I thought we could play it, and I thought we could end with a game of don't show Keith your teeth. Yeah. Can All we right. do that? Okay. I it then. Can you host it? And it's it. me against Ralph. Yeah. Um, you got to come up with a subject, as you know what you're doing on Celebrity yeah. Juice, and we'll play yeah. a game of Don't Show Keith Your Teeth. Okay. Um, it's, uh, it's a word association game. You mustn't stutter, you mustn't repeat, but most of all, you mustn't show Keith your teeth. And the subject is um, things you do on a Sunday. Will. About my pumpy mouth. I am a Pumbe Walsh. Yeah, Pumbe Walsh. Is it my poem now? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I like to watch the football. Football? football. I watch a bit well, of football. Football. Yes. Sometimes I like to watch Man Pepper United. All right. You bend your pants in. I'll stop fucking popping it. Right. In the Premier League. Okay. Mine is. Ow. I, I'm it's open the pub. I'm open the, the pub. Oh. You fucking dickhead. You might have to cheat Carry on. <laughs> Carry on your belly. All right. Wow. He, goes, he goes to the pub. He goes to the pub. I go to the pub. Oh. Oh. Uh, I drink a beer. Fucking hell. That's a bit close to the pub, isn't it? <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> I just keep, keep drinking beer in his mouth. Okay. I'm, I'm not in your pub. Okay. Um, Sometimes he drinks, he drinks beer in envy of your silver chair with a knocker on the back. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> um, I, well, um, on a fun day, I watch an afternoon movie. Afternoon movie. What, what, Ralph, you watch your afternoon movie. What do you do? I like to go shopping at a furniture shop for silver chairs with knockers on them. Fuck off. You fucking dickhead. <laughs> It's not open on a Sunday, you lying bastard. It is till four have... o'clock. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my god, it's killing me. This is really hurting my jaw. Yeah, <laughs> Will. What? You might go. Shopping, yeah, do. Balance, you can't go shopping on a fucking Sunday. It's open till four, four pm, you balling. Okay then. Um, <laughs> do a bit of gardening. Bollocks! Bollocks! <laughs> Bollocks! When have you ever done any gardening? Well, I need the piss. <laughs> well, oh. I can't. I need the piss. I have a piss in the garden and water the plants. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I have a hangover. On a bumby? 
on a Monday. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Come and do. I'd like to visit family. I visit family. Do you have a big? Do you have a big family? I have, I have a big. Yeah, I have a big family. Don't get your question, now. I, I visit family. Oh. What do you do? Sometimes I like to pay my pay paper. What? Pay I pay my pay station. All right. On a Monday. <laughs> Always. <laughs> I haven't got any kids. Oh, okay. Every Sunday, I'm the only. Oh. Well, on a Monday. Uh, bollocks, I don't know. Take him, take him. Hey, hey, do you sometimes on a fun day, if the wife and kids have gone out of the house, do you like to light some candles and have a wank? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you do. I bet that's what you do on a fun day. He likes to put his <laughs> knob behind that knocker on the back of his chair. <laughs> do you ever bang the back of your chair? <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> On a Monday, I bang the back of my silver chair. Listen, what's wrong with my chair just because it's got a knocker on it? Why has it got a knocker on it? I don't know. They were doing the shop like that. And I liked them, so I got it. It's a nightmare when you move them, though, because you get a little knocker going on at the back of you. Anyway. Well, don't you just pick it up by the knocker? You can do. You can do. It's very versatile, these chairs. You look like you're in a set of footballers' wives. Listen, shut your face, you. Shut your face. Just because you sit in front of a bookcase like some big swatty old swap face. <laughs> he really goes, I haven't got a bookcase. But what, not anywhere? <laughs> no, what do you want a bookcase? Why is a bookcase nowadays? What for? For, for books. For who, reads? <laughs> who reads books? Nowadays, who has books? Who What's has the books, point? Eh? What's who the point books? of a book? Books. Oh, you're a reader, eh? No, oh, one of them. Well, I, the only book I used to read when I was a kid was Viz. That was it. To be fair, that is still mint. There's no argument with Viz. I used to get the annual, the hardback annual, every year for Christmas of Viz. Oh, I, I didn't get Viz because it was very um, it was nasty towards ginger people. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all right. You're, you're, you're bang on trend now, aren't you? Ed Sheeran's bought you right back. You and Ed Sheeran have yeah, bought gingers yeah. right there's, back. There, cool. there's, a, there's a nest of us now. Yeah, I actually got, I actually, In a cave. I got a message the other day saying, can you ask Keith... Oh, can you tell Keith I'm glad he's gone back to Ginger and got rid of all the blonde? Did you dye it blonde? Yeah. He was blonde well, yeah. originally, wasn't he? Years Keith? ago. Yeah, years ago. Oh, yeah, years, yeah, he was, yeah. I look like, I look like Anthea Turner with a tash. Yeah. <laughs> Anthea Turner with a tash. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a boring procedure. You both dyed your hair before, haven't you? Bleached your hair. I was blue. Yeah. I was blood. It was Jambo, wasn't I? I had blood. Yeah. Uh, Jambo. It's boring, isn't it? Having it done. Boring. But the I used thing to. Is- I used to do it myself because you, I couldn't you, be bothered paying. You and I both did it for work because it was like part of the, what we had to do for work. Um, Will did it by choice because he thought it would look good. It's a very big difference. Excuse me. I was, ja- MLM. I was Jambo. Jambo came before M and M. So if anyone copied anyone, that might be the me. case. That might be the case. But you didn't dye your hair after you were cast as Jambo. You already had your hair dyed when you were cast as Jambo. That is correct. Yeah, I did it because of Gaza. <laughs> did it. I did it to look like Gaza. <laughs> yeah. Paddy's done it now. Oh yeah, it's all the rage. Everyone follows suit. Paddy did it. Then everyone Paddy's doing done it. it. Yeah. Paddy's, I can never Paddy's follow what's it. going on with Paddy's hair. Has he got hair? Has he not got hair? Yeah, <laughs> he's, 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 he's got the jambo cut now. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. He does like. Yeah. I think he does what I do. He just sprays black stuff on it, like I do. I've got a bit of a sunroof <laughs> coming. <laughs> Will spray paints the top of his head. You can see the back of it there. Look, I'll spray that bit there. Oh, mate, get the old spray paint on that bad boy. I'm running today. out. I'm running out of touch-up paint. <laughs> Listen, Keith, thanks so much for coming on, man. It's great to see no you. No worries. No worries. Good to see you. Well, I'll be see, nice to see you, Ralph. Yeah, I'll, nice be seeing you, I'll be seeing you again in the near future, hopefully on Juice or whatever, or whatever. Yeah, September-ish. Oh, if September. not, let's just grab a beer when we can, yeah? Yeah, give us a shout. All right, mate. Thanks so much for coming Shout-out on. Ralph, uh, Christmas. Yeah, all right. Christmas time. Let's talk about it. Right. We'll do it. Yeah, let's talk about it then. Yeah, cool. Talk. All right. Nice to see you, mate. Thanks a lot. See Good. you later, pal. That well, was good to have him on, wasn't it? Oh, he's great, isn't he? He's no, great it's, value. It's just a nice Lovely guy as well. well. Yeah, he was great. Good guest. Yeah. Good um, guest. Well, it's always good to catch up, pal. Um, I'm going to go okay. and have a, have a beer with me mate for his birthday. I'm going to go and surprise Say him. Say hi to Anthony. Go and surprise him and have a good old piss up. 
Listen, try and see if you can get through more than three pints without without your eyes running and thinking that you're going to have to fight someone and then leave. I don't do that anymore. I'm a nice person. I just People used to get on my tits. I, I can tolerate people now. Because there was a time when I did used to do a lot of that. I used to get into a lot of trouble and I, and I swore that I wouldn't do it anymore. So I just try and walk away when I think it's going to happen. Because people do give you shit every now and then. I just think, well, if I can walk away, I will do. Because what's it worth? Yeah. It? It's not worth it. Fair play. Fair All right, play. mate. Wise Listen. words from a, from a wise man. <laughs> Have a good day, pal. All the best. My beer's gone. It's time to go. See you in a bit.